what am I doing here now? Oh, hey, everybody. Hi, I'm Argolfoff, and I am playing, um, this game. Uh, this is Spirit of Revenge, Elizabeth's Secret. We are in Castle Purge. We're kind of locked in this castle. It's, it's bad luck for us, I should say. And I am painting something, I guess? No, I'm using tongs here. Okay, so that gives me a girl figurine, which I use here. Because Mr. Perch had a daughter. Yes, Mr. Perch. Hey, we're outside again. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, great. Now we can visit all these old screens and uh, these old areas that I didn't quite finish. Yeah, I can, I can go back there. Great. Anyway, uh, yeah, he had a daughter named Victoria. But then she died. It was tragic. Okay, what am I doing here? I, I don't know. Hint button. Be my help and my guide. Ah. So I need something heavy. What? The hint told me to go there, and then it told me to leave. <laughs> okay, here's a book of herbs. Okay, I'm supposed to grab the right herbs. That is the guide to the herbs, right? Oh, I need my basket. Okay. So please tell me when I get an herb correct, the book tells me. Yeah, I, clicking on every herb seems to work just as well. What are the few herbs that I am missing? Hmm. I don't know what I'm missing. That leaf? Okay, so with all those herbs in place, I can create some potion to help save my poor, poor friend, whose name I keep forgetting. I know it's not Frank. <laughs> Francis Drake, that's his name. One. Two. Okay, three, four is yellow on the leaf. Three, four, five. And then six is stir it. And seven is get in the bottle. Okay, let's go back to our friend. Here he is now. We're gonna wake him up. What happened? How long have I been like this? <laughs> You've been sleeping for a while there, buddy. I can't open this door. But, uh, let's see. I've got rope. You can, you can open this door. Who's the master now? I... <laughs> Almost lost your hat there, master. Okay, so, wow, what is this? Some sort of puzzle-making thing, eh? Alright, because I've got a burn doll. So this will replace the burn doll. The master's daughter, Victoria, is a little angel. I made a doll that looks like her, which she named Victoria. Ah, okay. That's why we were talking earlier, why Victoria was talking about Victoria. She wasn't talking about herself, she was talking about her doll. Oh, oh wow, and we're just, we're just straight up making this doll right now. Okay, we don't even need to, like, try to find items. We've got items. If you want items, I've got them. Okay, and then we need hair. Okay, well, back away from that. Next is painting a face. Next is putting on a wig. Then it's putting on a dress. Please, give me Victoria. Sorry, Victoria. I won't give you Victoria. Okay, here's Victoria. Here's your doll. Thank you. I wanted to save my doll. I didn't understand the fire would kill me. Oh, I hope you can save my father. I can't stand to lose him to the spirit of revenge. Alas, he can't see me, as I am a peaceful spirit, so I can't stop him. If you don't make it by dawn, your boy could die too. Here, this might help you. It's not my boy, I'm just his, I'm just his tutor, and I think I've gone far above and beyond the call of duty. Okay, so Victoria, she ran into the burning house and died. It was a tragedy, but apparently she was just 
just trying to save her doll. That, that, that's sad and still even more tragic, actually. Well, now it's even more tragic than it was before. But we've got to help stop her father. We can't let her father destroy Edward. Edward's innocence in all this is clearly, it was, it was clearly not, not his fault that his, his father framed you, Mr. Purge. Okay, press the buttons in that order for the four skulls. And it looks like we must be finishing up with this area because we've got all our skulls. We've got a very tiny, <laughs> tiny inventory here. But is this a brand new area? Could be, yep, brand new area. Nice. Okay, so what are we doing in this area? The cemetery, yes, that's exactly where we're going. That's where we will find his ghost, I imagine. Our master's grave is haunted by a terrible spirit covered in flames. Yeah, that's your master. That's your master. I lock the cemetery gates to keep people from wandering here, but if anyone wishes to pay respects, the gates open at 3 a.m. for an hour. Wow, okay. You can only visit your dead beloved ones at 3 a.m. Very, 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 very picky. Okay, so let's get more story. Now, let's see how this whole intrigue began yeah. in the first place. My queen, you are a vision of loveliness today. Here, arriving in Her Majesty's court, the Count of Perche and his family from France. Oxford pants with fury because the court's attention has been drawn away from him for a moment. How can one be so positively vain? destroy you. You didn't expect a simple explanation, did you? <laughs> wow. Okay, so wait, wait. The reason why he hates Perch so much, the reason why he set Perch up to be executed is because Perch stole everyone's attention when he was busy flirting with the queen? Really? Really? I was flirting with the queen, but then somebody distracted her for a moment. I'm going to get revenge. I'm going to sign a... I, I'm going to fake an order, sentencing him to be burned as a traitor. Like... Like, seriously, okay, and maybe there was that little bit at the end where he thought that, oh no, this guy's totally flirting with the queen. Well, no, no, totally not the case. The Earl has a family. They, he was introduced. You know, he's got a wife and a kid. I'm sure he's not flirting with the queen. And besides, he's a foreigner, right? He can't marry the Queen of England. Can the Queen of England marry, marry a Frenchman and... 1500s. I don't know if that's possible. Anyway, we're collecting pattern chips, and I need a way to light this. And this is Victoria's grave. Apparently she was not buried with everybody else. Not in the cemetery, which is only open at very specific hours of the day. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, let's see, let's zoom in on here, and here we go. Come on, Drake. But of course, I knew it would be difficult. Yeah, this must be where the ghost is. I imagine this is where we're gonna stop the evil ghost. If, if we can, and I imagine that's where all those three pattern chips go, once we have all the pattern chips. We don't quite have them. I need something to light the candles. I've got a match. Ooh, I bet this is where the Victoria's portrait goes. An unpolished tray. Okay, clean it with that. I wonder what we're supposed to do here. I need some more fresh flowers. Yeah, I definitely need to 
find the last token. I bet uh, fresh flowers here, but how do I cut them? Oh, shiny tray lights this up for a key. Key opens my travel bag, which gives me a chip. Oh, it's not my travel bag, it was someone else's travel bag. Right, right, right. It would be silly for that to be my travel bag. So three chips go here, giving me some pruners, which I'm going to use here to cut these. Okay, I use the fresh flowers on Victoria's grave, and... Help me! You're a true hero, Willa, but now my father's there, and he has the boy. Father must be stopped, but the dawn draws near. You're his only hope. Well, you and your friend there. Hey, thanks for recognizing- Willa, you wouldn't let me talk at the lake, but I've got something that will beat the spirit of revenge. The ghost of the Earl of Oxford gave it to me. My, is he a sad sort? Here, look at this. Whoa, Let's give it a try on, on the boy. What? My Victoria! Father! It's you! At last! I was a slave to my own quest for revenge. And then, the spirit of revenge took hold of me. And I lost all reason. Now I realize the boy and the queen are innocent. Farewell. Miss Willa! I knew you'd come! It works! He thinks you're his only savior! What a silly boy. Queen Elizabeth granted Drake his coveted letter of mark. Then she offered to give me whatever I wanted. So I asked that the boy be allowed to choose his own path in life. When Edward was given the choice, he confessed that he did not wish to become heir to the throne. He declared his passion for poetry and claimed that he would make a lackluster ruler but a brilliant poet. When the Queen asked what pen name he wished to take, he replied, In honor of my tutor, the one who saved my life and gave me the right to choose my own path. I shall write poems and plays under the name of William Shakespeare, and I promise that people will be reading them a hundred years hence. Was that all a dream or a vision? Wow, that was intense. Uh, I wanted to say a couple of things. So while I was seeing the ghost of um, Victoria, our friend Drake was seeing the ghost of the Earl of Oxford. Wow, that's a cool story idea. Actually, that's really cool. That's kind of amazing. Because clearly he couldn't see the ghosts that I was seeing, so he's seeing ghosts that um, I can't see. Makes sense. Okay, cool. So uh, we're just, just going to watch ending credits here while I talk about this game in general. Uh, this isn't going to be the end of the video walkthrough. No, no, don't worry. There's uh, a bonus game, I think. I think I've got the bonus edition of the game, so that gives me a bonus game. Or I should say, the collector's edition of the game, it comes with a bonus game. Right, so... Yeah, that was kind of cool. I didn't know I was that close to the end of the game. I thought the end of the game was still like two hours away. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so this is a nice game. I, I like the storyline. I liked, I liked Drake. Drake was kind of cool. Um, the art for Drake could have been a little better. It wasn't, like, on par with the other art. But, as we can see, we've got 2D artists and 3D artists. Look how many 2D artists there are. Look how many 3D artists there are. Lots more people working on the other art, uh, compared to the art of Drake. So, that could make sense. Okay. So, yeah, no, I like this game. This is, this is a pretty good game. I'm glad I got it. I think I liked it better than the previous game. There are a couple of places in this game that totally tripped me up. Like that one sewing puzzle was just a mess. Oh. Oh, and here's the cast. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so they did manage to bring everything together at the end. Though. Wow, there are a lot of people in this game. I did not realize that. Yeah, they 
really did bring things together. Okay, so I was right. Okay, so the Earl of Oxford and the Queen secretly had a child, and that was that was Edward, aka William Shakespeare. But um yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that that was just an interesting bit of information which comes into play at the ending. It's it wasn't like related to the revenge quest. I thought it was related to the revenge quest. Clearly it was not. Alright. So lab lead and lab techs. Coolio. Special thanks. Art underscore master game studio. <laughs> Clearly something online through the internet. Okay, so thank you for watching everybody. I think I've got no, I've got one more Spirit of Revenge game which I have purchased. And I'll, 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 I'll do a video walkthrough for... Oh, this game came out in 2015. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes open. And, you know, if there's another game in the series, I'll try it out, check it out, see if I uh, actually like it. I think the fourth game in the series... I don't know. It, it, whatever. Thank you very much for watching. I'll... 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 I'll, you know, you, you don't care about which games I've got and which games I'm going to play, especially because I don't know the name of the third game. But I think there are four games in the series. I know I've got a third one besides this one in Cursed Castle. I just don't know what the third one is or what the fourth one is, which I don't have. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me play uh, Spirit of Revenge, Elizabeth's Secret. Check out the bonus game. Uh, definitely a bonus game, which I'll be doing in the next video.